Moi University School of Tourism, Hospitality and Events Management is one of the largest tourism and hospitality management schools in Kenya and the East African region as a whole. Started in 2012, the school has grown exceptionally over the years. It has three departments, namely Department of Tourism Management, Department of Hotel and Hospitality Management, Department of Travel and Tour Operation Management. The School of Tourism, Hospitality and Events Management was started in October 2012 and initially it was under the School of Business and Economics but because of the growth in the programs within the school, the university management, the university council felt it necessary to create the school and therefore it was formed. With six postgraduate, three undergraduate and six diploma programs, the school prides itself in competent faculty members who are all round in practical and theoretical areas of tourism and hospitality. Through innovative teaching and learning approaches such as problem-based learning, PBL, industry-aligned exposure, globally mapped approach and seasoned professors and doctors, the departments within the school continue to promote international tourism, travel and hospitality research and development through the Center for Tourism. Travel and hospitality research and produce internationally oriented graduates, service providers and service managers. It is largely student-driven student, student driven, uh, with a lot of uh, practical activities. The students do a lot of, uh, the lecturers are more facilitators and the students are the ones who actually drive the process. So that makes the program very unique. Uh, we also have the field, uh, field courses where we take the students to the field as the practicals. Uh, and at various levels, different levels, uh, they, they, they visit the the leading tourist sites in, in the country and, uh, and uh, practically kind of study the program. So that makes the program uh, unique. So we actually pride ourselves in, in, uh, as being the, the most student-centered uh, uh, tourism training program in the country. There are different range of courses, but mainly we have clustered them into introductory part of the course which uh, generally deals with the general tourism industry in terms of uh, uh, introduction to hospitality management, a bit of the different sections of the hotel industry. And then it also introduces students to the uh, tours and travel, which is uh, complements uh, hospitality industry. Then we have another cluster of, uh, of our courses, which deal with operations. Uh, and this is where we have strengths to do with the practical orientation of the course, where we, we teach uh, food and beverage production, uh, food and beverage service, uh, things to do with housekeeping, uh, we do, uh, things to do with the front office operations and management. Moi approached the teaching of tourism from three perspectives. Number one, an introductory of theory. Number two, we hold workshops with students, you know, where me and you like this, around a table, where we call self-directed learning. Here we call it problem-based learning, okay? And then industry interaction is quite common in our school. And that's why our students are easily unemployment, very easily unemployment. They also forge and sustain close collaboration with stakeholders in the service field of travel, tourism, events and hospitality as envisioned in Kenyan Visions 2030 and the Millennial Development Goals.
The outcome of this commitment has been the relentless supply of competent human resource to airlines, marketing departments, human resource department, tour operation companies, public relations department, travel agencies, various hotel and hospitality establishments, Kenya Wildlife Services, Conservancies and Conservative Organization, local international non-governmental organization, Ministry of Tourism, Museum and Cultural Centers, Banking and Insurance, Community-Based Organization, the Man-Made Parks Tourism Training Institution, among other service organizations. The graduates of tourism are now at middle level management. Yeah, those who left here area. Like ATP, you will find them there. You will find some working for airlines, some are working for two operations, some have started their own travel agencies. And we are proud of that. A number of them are now in telecommunication as a service. We don't train students generally to just work in the hotel industry. Some of them also end up in the other service sectors in the, in the economy, like uh, telecommunications, like uh, Safaricom, and things like that. They also end up in banking uh, and things like that. We have also students who, because of the courses we do like accounts, we have found students who actually end up uh, after they have done section six of the accounting course, they end up actually working in audit firms and even accounting firms. Living in its mission of preserving, creating and disseminating knowledge through quality and relevant teaching and research, the school work with stakeholders to facilitate the expansion and development of tourism, travel, event and hospitality sectors for the betterment of society. <laughs> The school has collaborations and networks with other institutions of higher learning and faculties worldwide. Several members of staff members serve as external examiners to various national and international institutions. Internationally based institutions include University of Newcastle Business School in Australia, University of Nordland in Norway, Indiana University in USA, and Suez Canal University Egypt and Lyon II University in France. Moreover, members of the school have been part of several projects in the past years among the DELF, which was funded by British Council and focused on pro poor tourism research capacity building and knowledge exchange in East Africa. EduLink funded by EDF and EU and focused on Africa-European Academic Alliance for Sustainable Tourism Development, Environment Sustainability and Poverty Reduction. EPA funded by British Council and focused on pro poor tourism education partnership network for East Africa and vices funded by Inter-University Council of East Africa. As part of the university agenda of advancing research, the school houses the African Journal of Tourism and Hospitality, AJTH, which is a peer-reviewed journal. The journal targets publication of current tourism and hospitality research within but not limited to the African continent. The main purpose of the journal is to advance and foster tourism and hospitality education and research. Also housed in the School of Center for Tourism, Travel and Hospitality Research, a research group combining leading institutions in the field of tourism, travel and hospitality in Kenya. This is one of the research group of its kind devoted to the course of tourism, travel and hospitality academic and research. The center is dedicated to tourism and hospitality research and supports all areas of inquiry that directly and indirectly affects tourism, travel and hospitality operations and management. Basically, the source of tourism studies is Moi. So if you want to get the best, you go to the source. And, uh, and therefore, I, I want to tell uh, whoever is interested in joining our program that they will never regret because basically, if you come to the source, you are expecting to get the, the best out of the source of, what, uh, of that particular um, product you are talking about. Our marketability is that uh, it is, uh, we have a lab uh, that gives students hands-on experience and uh, we, we have the industrial attachment. So these two aspects 
give our program more competitive. PBL, problem-based learning, that introduced, sharpened my interpersonal communication skills and even how to discuss and come up with the creative and innovative ideas and build a team and interactive uh, team learning systems. Participants from other nations present here today in Canada, just remember. For the second time since its inception, the School of Tourism, Hospitality and Events Management hosted the 10th Association for Tourism and Leisure Education and Research Atlas Conference, which was established in 1991 to develop transnational education initiatives in tourism and leisure. Atlas provides a forum to promote interactions among stakeholders in the tourism industry, promote staff and student exchange, transnational research, and to facilitate curriculum and and professional development. They can measure the performances or the experience of tourists, but also I want to interview a few tourists who are involved in this thing, in this kind of approach with these companies. Atlas is a global organization and it uh, unites around 200 uh, institutes, institute for education and research in tourism and leisure. Uh, we have a, a European chapter, an African chapter, and actually at this moment we also launched an America chapter we have a launching conference now in Brazil. Um, we had a, a chapter in, in Asia, uh, but we will uh, uh, start it up again next year, so to really spread out uh, globally. Always room for improvement, but then Atlas Africa chapter, which was formed in 2007, is under whose umbrella the 10th conference was held in Moore University, Eldoret, Kenya. There is the romantic narrative the out-of-Africa narrative and the dreamt of Africa narrative. Possibly, it's time that politicians and governments turn to academicians for a solution. The theme of the 10th Atlas Africa Conference, Africa Tourism and Travel Competitiveness, Opportunities and Challenges, was selected on the premise that despite the exponential global growth of tourism in terms of earnings and visitor numbers, Africa still trails other continents in terms of tourist arrivals and receipts. Tourism social media, um, because... Tourism globally is a very huge industry, um, contributes about 9% of the global GDP and uh, employs possibly one out of every 11 jobs globally. But uh, Africa only accounts for about 3% of that global market. So Africa does very poorly in terms of um, claiming a, a market share of the tourism industry, industry globally. Mm -hmm. But uh, if you come to Africa, particularly the countries which do well are the North African countries and the S South African countries. South, uh, South Africa does very well. Um, Tunisia, Morocco, Egypt, those are the leading giants for Africa. Yeah. And Kenya comes in uh, a little bit doing better, but generally the, the level and the, the, the magnitude of the tourism industry yeah. in Africa is still very low compared to the market share globally. Yeah. The continent's competitiveness has been identified as a major challenge facing the destination. It is widely acknowledged that a destination competitiveness is a complex and multifaceted concept encompassing economic, social, political, natural and cultural aspects. <music> This international conference therefore aims at bringing together researchers, academicians, policymakers, destination management experts, practitioners and representatives from destination marketing organization, government and non-governmental organization on an international platform to discuss various opportunities and challenges with respect to Africa's tourism competitiveness in relation to other world tourism regions. We have already had a number of conferences in Africa, and two of them, which I coordinated myself in Kampala, uh, actually helped to bring you know, uh, different people in the, in, in, in the field of academia. Uh, the two conferences we had, uh, uh, actually I think we had about two more than 83 countries represented, and uh, out of that there are tangible benefits that uh, I can talk about. 
which have to do with the training and research. Because uh, if I can recall, about three projects uh, came out of those engagements and uh, uh, those projects helped turn around the tourism sector in Uganda in terms of training. Personally, I've benefited from Atlas because it is in that first meeting that I met, uh, I had connections uh, with a lady who came to attend the conference from South Africa. And it is through her that I received my admission uh, to start my PhD because I didn't have a PhD then. Drawing delegates from within and outside Africa, the conference provides a platform for diverse tourism, travel and hospitality, direct and indirect actors to deliberate on the challenges impeding competitiveness of Africa's tourism and inherent opportunities. A situation whereby you are forced to uh, perform that particular act. Conferences like this one of Atlas is very important. First of all, there is exchange of knowledge and good practices around Africa. So we have participants from Botswana, we have participants from Europe, we have participants from the East African countries. And so it provides a very important forum for exchange of good ideas, particularly good practices that can uh, stimulate uh, tourism growth in all the countries where participants come from. Atlas Conference sets out to an earth methodologies that can be pursued to address Africa periphery status in global tourism competitiveness. Africa needs to, to increase its market share for the global tourism market. And the only way of doing that is to, to see what research other people are doing and what are the, the, the key findings from that research and wh what Kenya can borrow from that. So exchange of good practices as well as the cutting edge research and innovation, as well as creating networks, networks not only for, for academic discourse, but also for training and for opportunities to travel and see first-hand examples from other areas is greatly, greatly uh, promoted when we have conferences like this one of Atlas. The Mo University School of Tourism, Hospitality and Events Management places itself out to be recognized nationally, regionally and globally as a school of choice in nurturing the most diverse, independent and academically talented professionals in tourism, travel, hospitality and events management. Far more important, I think, is the network function. That people meet each other again, that they make um, uh, arrangements about publications, about doing a project together, um, hiring external examiners, etc. The network, which, which is part of this whole Atlas uh, Africa, has been extremely important um, in the last uh, 15 years. This has been one of those conferences which I think majority of the participants had very fruitful contribution. We received enormous number of abstracts. We attracted um, great uh, interest from different uh, participants and I feel it was a great success and we have achieved the aim of the conference and everyone I think in my own opinion feels that we have indeed succeeded in doing what Atlas is supposed to be doing. This conference has given our students an opportunity to practice some of the uh, what we teach them in class, uh, like they participated in hosting uh, alongside the students in hospitality. They have uh, assisted in the hosting and the ushering, uh, those practical aspects. Other than that, the papers that have been presented have also uh, kind of um, help to engage in the ideas that we learn in class. So I think uh, the, the conference is generally very useful for our students as well as our staff.